Hi guys, today is Thursday, June 21st. Um, and I'm not sure, well, I'm sure it's probably got a title on it now, but I'm not sure what I'm going to call this um, video today. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm one day closer to getting my car. I get it next Saturday, so I'm excited about that. Um, I did see my therapist this week. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do see an addictions counselor because I am addicted to food. Obviously, I didn't get this way by not liking food. Um, but anyway, I'm really struggling struggling with food issues again. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I want something and I get it and I might have two or three bites and I'm like, I don't want this. Or I think I want something, I might have two or three bites and I get sick. Um, I really don't have a good relationship with food no matter what I'm trying but I am trying and I'll never give up. So that's the main thing. Um, now my counselor still does not want me doing Weight Watchers, but she did explain it to me um, after I kind of not freaked out on her, but I let her know that I didn't think that was very good advice. Um, she did explain why though. Um, I have confession. Um, that's kind of hard to talk about, but it's what I do and I've always been honest on this channel, so that's what I'm going to continue to do. Okay, I get weighed Wednesday nights. Um, when I was younger, whenever we would be on a diet, and since I was little, like I think, I forget what grade, but I've been on diets with my mom forever and ever and ever. And whenever we got weighed in, after we weighed in, we would have something to eat. So I still do that. Um, it's ridiculous, but... I'll get weighed, as I say it is, at nighttime, and then I'll have McDonald's for supper. So then that goes into Thursday, and Thursday I'm like, I've got till Wednesday to get it off. I'm going to have something, maybe chips. I, I have a chip addiction, so maybe it's chips I want. So then, then we're into Friday, and Friday, well, it's the start of the weekend, and we should probably have pizza and movies, because that's what people do on Friday. Well, then it's the weekend and we're usually out and about and I want a treat. Why I've chosen the word treat for food, I don't know, but this is what I do. So we're out on the weekend and hmm, if we're in a place that's not too far from here, they have fries under the bridge. It's a bridge that goes from Canada to the United States and underneath it's all beautiful and they have fry trucks and everything. So it's that. Or there's one like just 15 minutes up the road that has a fry truck. So yeah, if we're out and about like doing garage sales or whatever, by the time lunchtime rolls around, I want fries. So then Sunday comes and Sunday should be a family meal. There's two of us. What kind of family meal is there? But I like like a meat and potatoes and possibly dessert. Well, guess what? Now we've gone all the way from Wednesday to Sunday panic sets in and I'm like oh my goodness I'm getting weighed Wednesday look at everything I've ate I'm not going to eat so then I starve myself Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I'm so embarrassed telling you guys this but that's what I do um and then I try really hard to get it off by Wednesday and if I don't have it off by Wednesday I beat myself up um I say how stupid I am and how sick I am of being fat and I give every excuse and I'm not very nice to myself but in my opinion myself doesn't deserve to be very nice to myself as far as food and weight goes Whew. so anyway that is hard um it's causing me stress. When I'm stressed, my sugar goes totally out of whack. Normal for Canadians is 3.5 to 6.5. And in the last two weeks, I've had one that was 22.2 .2 and one as low as three something. And that 
is not good for weight loss and it makes me have to take more insulin when it's 22.2 I have to take more insulin and insulin does just automatically fight with you um, as far as weight loss is concerned so basically I'm sabotaging myself and I'm not sure why I'm doing it um, her advice I get it but I just I'm still not sure the final decision has to be mine and I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do but her advice is to keep seeing my diabetic nurse um, we're going to change up some meds because it was that medication that made me sick. And now that I'm not taking it, we have to add something else. So see her, follow along with the dietitian who works with the diabetic nurse. They're in like, I want to say in cahoots, but they're, uh, they work together as a team and they have a very good um, meal plan. Um, she did set one up for me and of course I got it. And then at the time, I think I started Weight Watchers right away or whatever. So I just kind of put it away. Well, my therapist wants me to get it out, look it over, try it for a while and not get weighed. She said, you're, you're focusing so much on numbers, um, for how many points you eat for the number on the scale. Everything is, um, based on what that number of the scale is. So she said, Weight Watchers is good. And, um, and it is, she said, but you go and if you do good, they're all happy for you. And if you don't do good, they do what? And I said, well, they try and help you and they encourage you to maybe do something different or whatever. But the meetings really stress me out. I don't know. I've, mm, I've got a lot of screwed up thoughts, especially as I say, where weight is concerned. Um, I'm not comfortable going to the meetings, but it's okay to step out of your comfort zone. It really is. But I've only stayed for, I think, two meetings. Um, the people, there's one lady and I just love her to pieces. She's really nice. And really, that's the only one. Um, I don't know these people, so I don't mind saying it, but they're not very friendly. They are amongst themselves. Like there's uh, really long tables that everyone sits at. And I think they use about three tables. They want everyone to kind of sit together. Well, the one table is nice and contributes to everything and is vocal and gives ideas and stuff, but they're pretty tight. Um, other than the nice lady that talks to me that I met there, there's no one that I would feel comfortable talking to or whatever. And when I leave there, um, Bill usually picks me up. And when I get in the van, here we go again. When I get in the van, I can't talk to him or I can't breathe because I'm having a panic attack. And I tighten up. So when I'm in line, I can't breathe because I'm self-conscious, even though everybody's there for the same thing. Um, I'm panicked I guess so I tighten up that causes my back to hurt more and then I can't talk or I can't like I can barely function and I just want to go sit down so really the as my therapist said are they really helping you um but I'm paid up until October I'm gonna stick with the Weight Watchers definitely stick with it um because I do think it's a good plan I really do but I do understand why she's saying um, the meetings might kind of not be good for me right at right at this moment. Trying to work through the issues. Um, I see her every two weeks and we've got a lot of work to do. Um, she's having me go through a book right now. Um, it's something about emotional eating. I forget what it's called, but it's like a a self-help and a workbook. And we're going through that because a lot of this stems from way back. Um, and the lady that I'm talking about at Weight Watchers that I really like, um, at Mother's Day, um, Mother's Day and Father's Day is really hard for me. So my Mother's Day, she said, why don't you talk about your mom? Like, um, tell me stories, like put it on Facebook and tell stories. That way I can get to know you and I can learn about your mom and stuff. So I did that and oh my goodness, it helped me so much. I got through Mother's Day. Um, 
without the whole drama and the tears and the just freaking out. Um, I got to enjoy the stories that I told people and they seemed to really like it. So I did it again on Father's Day for Dad. And what I noticed, and I told my therapist this, I, I told stories maybe four or five for each one. And I don't remember, I don't remember my childhood at all. Like, I don't remember. I've blocked so much out. Um, and we got to deal into that too. But I've really blocked a lot of things out. But the stories that I did tell, get this, they revolved around food. Like, um, my dad worked a lot. He was a truck driver and, um, he would go places that were good and he would like to take us later. And there was this one time he'd like to take us for a drive or whatever on the weekend. And one time he said, come on guys, we're going to Orangeville. Um, and Orangeville from where we lived at the time to Orangeville was probably close to three hours and he was taking us out for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> because this restaurant was really cool. They brought like a pot of jam and put it on your table and the toast was cut really thick. And anyway, it was just one of the stories. And I remember, um, I don't remember this, but I remember dad telling me this when I was very young, we were out somewhere for breakfast. Um, and the waitress said to either my mom or my dad, what will she have, meaning me? And I said, I want the same as my dad. And the waitress laughed and said, no, really, what does she want? And dad looked at her and said, she wants the same as me, which was bacon, eggs, home fries, toast. And I was just a little girl. But anyway, so, and then mom's stories, um, we would go to away for the weekend a lot because dad was working. So mom and I would go and We'd stay at a motel that had a pool and everything was really nice. And um, we would grab a sandwich or something. And then in the motel, we had like a little fridge. So we would take, mom would take milk because she always drank milk. She would take milk and we'd get those, um, I don't know if they're still called that, but they were called snowballs and they're like chocolate cake with um, marshmallow stuff on top and coconut. And I remember that. So as my therapist said all this she said good for you for figuring that out and and coming to that conclusion yourself she said and what does it tell you and I said it tells me I'm pretty messed up I need help I need to not focus on food um and I said to her I said I don't even like food really like I don't I eat when I'm not hungry um <laughs> And two stories that are kind of funny now. They weren't funny at the time. But the one night, um, Bill gets a lot of stuff for his lunches that, you know, those fake brownies and oh, they're gross. But anyway, I would eat them if I found them. Well, he had this, um, I think it's called a flaky pastry. So I had the lights out because I was just on my phone reading. And <laughs> I snuck this flaky thing and a piece fell off and hit my wrist so I picked it up and I put it in my mouth and all of a sudden I didn't know what was going on it felt like my mouth was being cut open and I'm like what the heck and I thought it must be plastic so I turned the light on I pull it out and oh my gosh it's a bug I don't know what kind of bug it was because obviously he died when I tried to eat him <laughs> Anyway, it stung the inside of my mouth on the bottom of my lip. It got so swollen. I got scared. I'm like, oh my goodness. I wake Bill. Poor Bill. I wake him. I'm like, there's a bug. Like, And I was freaking out. And of course, he's half asleep and has to get up soon. And he's just like, it'll be okay. So that, that hurt. I can still feel it. It hurt for a couple days. So that was my, you shouldn't be having it sign. Then... <laughs> I think it was two days later, I I decided I was hungry. And I really did think, I'm trying to think when I'm really hungry, if I'm hungry or if I just want something. So this time I really was hungry. <laughs> so I got up and I thought I'm going to have a salad because I really do like my salads. So I get up, I go to the kitchen. I look at all the stuff in the fridge to make the salad and I'm like, oh, 
by the time I make the salad, my back's going to be hurt and I'm not going to feel like doing this. Let's make a grilled cheese. Which isn't really a bad option, but it's not a salad by any means. So what happens? I go to make the grilled cheese. I've got half of it nice. I go to flip it. I flip it. Everything's fine. And then all of a sudden there's flames. There is flames coming from the stove underneath the pan. I'm like, I pull the pan. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to blow, blow the fire out, which of course is only making it bigger. The dog's freaking out because I'm freaking out. I'm trying to bang it. Finally, I have an oh, come the dawn. I grab a wet washcloth. and Well, first I threw the water and then I put a wet washcloth and cleaned it up. And But I'm thinking to myself, here we go again. Food, a situation. Food, the bug situation. Food, the fire situation. And it's like, to me, it's like, these are signs you're not supposed to be eating, but that's not, I got to get that out of my head too, because I do need to eat, but <sighs> I don't know. I'm just so frustrated, but by saying I'm frustrated doesn't mean I'm giving up because I'm not. That's one thing about me. I may have a lot of problems. I may be like, whoo, whoo, right crazy when it comes to food and other situations and need help, but I will never ever give up so anyway I just wanted to tell you guys that to touch base with you because it is Thursday and I usually do have a weigh-in report but I didn't get weighed this week because as I say I did see her and I'm going to try it her way I don't mean her way that doesn't sound very nice I'm going to try her suggestion because she has suggested it a few times now when I've seen her so I'm going to try it so that at least then I can say to her, you know, Shannon, I tried this and it didn't particularly work for me. Or I tried this and you know what? You were right and I should have done this long ago. But anyway, so that is that. So there you go. You've got my story about my crazy food, but no weight loss or weight gain or weight the same because I don't know because I didn't get on it. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you. When I said that I... I allow myself right up until Sunday, like it just kind of happens that I allow myself stuff right up until Sunday and then I panic because I've got three days. For those three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you would not believe how many times I get on that scale. Like, I don't know, four times a day, like really? And what's going to happen? Nothing. So I really do got to get rid of the habits that I have, but I am working on it. I am working with professionals on it. Um, at first I was kind of like, I don't want to tell everybody this because, you know, they'll think whatever, but I think it's a good thing I'm working with professionals because I do need the help and that's what they're for. That's what they're there for. Um, where I go, it is an addiction center, but she specifically does uh, food addiction. And then, of course, there's people in there that do drug addiction and alcohol and um, all kinds. But she is specifically for um, the weight, which I like, because in that way, she's not um, being pulled into other directions or whatever. She is for the weight. So I think that not weight. Stop it, Sandy. She's not for a weight addiction. She's for a food addiction. Get it right. Anyway, guys, I love yous. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I get my car soon, and that's going to help, too. And that's what she said. She said, Sandy, you really need to have something to look forward to, which I do. I've cut back a little bit on my wreaths because I don't really have the room. And right now, I will show you. <laughs> I am making... I'm making pom-poms and you're probably thinking pom-poms what is she doing now but I'm gonna make a pom-pom rug a mat a pom-pom mat anyway you guys don't want to know all that but I'm sorry this was lengthy but I wanted to tell you what's been going on and let you know that I love you guys I appreciate all your support I'm sorry I boohooed but it just sometimes happens you know when we get older and emotional and <laughs> okay love you guys talk to you soon bye